passionate about books and literacy. Don Quixote is one of the classics and I'm kind of ashamed that I haven't read it. Um, beautiful words and um, funny story. It's inspiring to think that an author could be commemorated in this way. I think it's something that I'd definitely love to be a part of. And at first, when I read it, I thought, this is a mad book. And I'm looking forward to reading this book because uh, whilst I know about it, I actually have never read it. It's been the one big book that I've always wanted to read but never have read. way of marking the centenary. And the winner is... My name is Moira Christie. I'm 41 years old and I currently work as a marketing coordinator. I'm not Canberra born and bred, I'm from a small town in Victoria and I have four children who keep me busy. We do a lot of sport, we do taekwondo, we do swimming, the girls do netball and the boys do soccer, which I believe is very popular in Spain. By his reading. His stories affect his the stories he's reading affect his fantasies and make him think that what he's read is real. <laughs> In some ways, that was a bit like me, a reader who is about to be driven mad by her fantasies. Mil euros por leer El Quijote. Es la beca que ha recibido de la Embajada Española en Australia una mujer de 41 años que además de leer tiene que hacer un videoblog y contar en Twitter qué le parece la lectura. La iniciativa acerca a las antípodas, la conmemoración del aniversario de la muerte de Cervantes. I got into conversation with a gentleman in the library today, uh, as a result of which he left a note on my desk to see whether um, I find reference to a homosexual relationship, not a physical homosexual relationship, maybe more of a homoerotic relationship between Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. Today that I would talk about my understanding of Sancho, I'd talk about the more I read about him, the more I like him. Good afternoon, it's David Bamford here. I'm presenting, at least on a loan, a copy of Simone Lay's Hall of Uselessness, which has an essay on, in it called The Imitation of Our Lord Don Quixote, in which Simone Lay discusses why one should read Don Quixote, and it's simply because one enjoys it and that it exceeds the limitations of its authors. Me ha parecido interesante oírla decir que tiene mucho valor que Sancho dejara a su mujer en su casa y se fuera detrás de Don Quijote. Y la verdad es que es, es muy interesante ver la percepción y el entendimiento que puede tener una persona tan lejana a este país como Moira. Y a mí me ha hecho mucha gracia eh, oírla decir que su ideal de felicidad ahora mismo es tener cinco horas diarias para leer en absoluto silencio en una biblioteca. Quien nos lo cuenta es Eva Salmerón, miembro del colectivo artístico español. The more I read, the more I am convinced that Sancho Panches is denied his rightful place in literature. Just a second, sweetheart, just a second. The correct pronunciation would be Rocinante. <laughs> Rosinante. 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 He's out there, he's a knight errant, he's trying to right wrongs, to uh, make the world a better place, and very few people 
respect the nobility of that aim. I found that very sad. One kind lady from home brought me in chocolate to keep me sustained uh, so that I wouldn't faint from the difficulties of reading. Chapter 17 of part two. Chapter title is in which the heights and extremes to which the remarkable courage of Don Quixote could and did go is revealed, along with the happy concluded adventure of the lions. Um, this book is about Don Quixote, a man that reads a lot of books, like my mum is reading this book. And he lived in Spain and he read too many books and he thought he was a knight, he got a bit crazy, he went off in Spain and asked people if they need any help, which is odd. Oh, quite a difference today. It's about 35 degrees outside, my car is sweltering, but at least it's better than the rain. You can probably hear the beautiful sounds of the Australian bush, the insects, the birds, the sounds of cyclists being exhausted in the sun. I thought I'd talk today more about windmills. I'm up to chapter 60 of the second part and I thought this would be a good time to give my reflections on whether I think there is a homosexual or homoerotic relationship between Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. And it's been interesting to me, I don't know whether it's related or not, but many of my Twitter followers have been people strongly involved in the gay and lesbian community, the whole rainbow, uh, the whole rainbow army. And this is the end of my project. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. This is the end. Beautiful friend This is the end My only friend The end It hurts to set you free But you'll never follow me The end The end of nights we try to die. This is the It was crazy. You're all you're all madmen. I can't believe <laughs> I can't believe you would embark on such things. But I'm I'm happy to have benefited from your madness, and I, I'm here and I'm available. Should you have future episodes of madness? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.